Hello, everybody. It is Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And yes, y'all are looking at my couch. And I was drinking one of these, which is very good. And I was drinking some water. Um, I just finished eating turkey burgers. Two turkey burgers and a piece of chocolate cake. And of course, right after I finished this chocolate cake, honey, I decided what? I'm going to change my life and go on another diet, child. Mm -hmm. It's always after you eat a good meal. Well, they want nothing wrong with the turkey burgers. They were healthy because I didn't have no cheese. Because I'm getting to a place where I don't really care for cheese much anymore. Not that I want to eat cheese again, but I just don't really care for cheese like I, you know, want to have cheese on everything. So, I just had two turkey burgers that I baked in the oven with onions, vegan mayonnaise, mustard, coleslaw, and that was it. And a piece of chocolate cake, honey. Oh, Lord Jesus, I'm full. How y'all uh, Memorial Day been, your Memorial Day weekend? I know a lot of people went down to the beach. And um, I hope everybody was safe. Honey, I didn't do anything. Just relax and stay home because I am a true introvert. Is that how you say it? Introvert? Yeah. And I just like being home by myself. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. I just love the presence of myself. I'm reading a, a wonderful book. I don't think I'm on chapter 9 in that book. Uh, Mr. Oweda's. Guide to Guardian, Guarding by Carol Wall, I think that's her name. So, <clears throat> I'm just enjoying my um, time being home alone and getting ready to reset for the week to come. Um, I'm off work tomorrow, so my plans for in the morning, y'all, because I've been sitting here thinking about, y'all know I have a treadmill right over here to the right of me. And I did get on today, and I walked 15 minutes, honey. And then I said, Lord, 15 minutes, is that enough? Then I thought about what uh, Miss Nirvana said, honey. Hey, Miss Nirvana, girl. She said, 15 minutes is better than no minutes, honey. And you know what? I agreed. I said, you know what? 15 minutes is better than no, no minutes at all. So I did my 15 minutes, honey. But you know what? I'm trying to see, <clears throat> uh, like, tomorrow I'm off work. So I think I'm going to try to get up early in the morning. And go walk at least for an hour at the park. And, you know, then whenever I go back to work, because I work all day, by the time I get off work, it's a little late. And, baby, I don't I don't walk at night or nothing like that. Or when the sun about to sit, I don't, I don't do those types of things. Because strange people and strange things happen at night. And you really have to be careful in the daytime now, honey, the way things are going on. But, um... I don't know. I might just get up in the morning and just walk on my treadmill, honey, instead of going out, you know. But I do enjoy the sun. I really do. And um, so I'm trying to work a regimen out with um, with um, this walking on my treadmill. Because once I walk, because my knee, I had real bad arthritis and sciatic problems in my knee and leg. And when I steady walk for a long time, boy, this thing gives me the devil, honey, my knee and leg. But I can do it, so but I, I won't be able to do it. Cause once my knee, my I walk for so long and my legs start hurting, I have to sit down and um lift my leg up so it can whatever this pain is going on, you know, just release out. But you know, if I have to be to work at seven in the morning, I can't get up at six o'clock and walk and then think I'm gonna go to work. Cause no, cause my leg will be going out on me. So I'm gonna have to get up really early, you all, like. Because I need at least an hour for my leg to go back to being normal. So I might have to get up at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning and do my walking. And that's okay because, you know, most time we get up that time anyway and pray and, you know, read our word and all that kind of good stuff. So it's going to be a sacrifice <clears throat> if I'm going to do it like that. But I'm just working out of trying to think of another plan so I can get my walking in. Y'all don't follow me because, you know, um, I might. Turn over and go to sleep in the morning. But I'm um, I'm just thinking about things I want to do. And um I was also thinking about uh my granddaughter, uh Daniela. Lord, that's my precious baby. I was thinking about her, and you know, I'm not gonna always be here, but I, you know, I pray that I'd be here as long as the Lord allowed me to be here. I would like to see her, you know, I pray I'd be able to see her grow up and you know, 
go off to college or whatever she's going to do, get married, have children, all those things. But I was thinking, you know, most of the time our children, they are really, really smart, but they don't always have the opportunities that other children have because of one simple thing, and that's finances. A lot of times, uh, black children in the black community, we, we don't always get an opportunity to go to the best schools, to go to the uh, have the best opportunity because of finances. Sometimes we just don't have the money to go to those certain places. You know, we don't have, you know, my granddaughter, she's a gymnast right now, honey. And um, I would like her to be in the finest gymnastic classes, uh, finest dance, you know, things like that. And a lot of times our young people, they're not able to uh, have their gift perfected like they should because of sometimes the parents don't have the money to do it. So, I am working on a financial plan for, for her because I want her to be, because like I said, I'm not going to be here always, honey, but I want to leave her something. You know what I'm saying? I don't want my, how they say, well, your grand, your mom and daddy or grandparents, whatever they had, baby, they had to pull it out the mud to get it. And you know, I don't want my granddaughter to have to pull stuff out the mud, you know, which I do want her to understand the, the uh, value of working, the value of hard work. <laughs> And I want, you know, she's very smart in school. Her mama's got that, you know, aced out. She's very smart, a great reader. I know she's going to have good grades, but I would like for her to have better opportunities and more opportunities to do whatever she, her mind she want to do in life. And I don't want finances to be a problem for her. You see, I don't want her to have to end up working four and five jobs and going to school, you know. Uh, just because she might want to do this or might want to do that and it costs a couple thousand dollars to get there and a couple thousand dollars to get there. So we as parents, uh, whatever we can do, especially if you got a child that's doing good in school and that's an obedient child, you want to make sure they get every opportunity. You see what I'm saying? And and have and have the finances there so they can do go and do what they want to do. Especially if it's a child that's obedient, making good grades, you know? So... I just want to make her financially, have her make sure that she's financially stable to when she gets older or if I pass, you know, she can say, well, I can do this because my grandmama left me this or my grandmama left me that. I want to leave her something, you know, and I don't mean no $20 and 25 cents, you know, I want to, I want to leave her some finances. I want to leave her some type of wealth. And I know I'm starting late in the game, honey. I mean late because I'm over 50 years old, but Long as you breathe, honey, it's never too late to start whatever you want to start. You can say, you know what, at least I, I started on it, you know. And a lot of times people don't reach out with their goals and dreams and stuff because they feel like it's too late and it's too hard. And I get feeling like that sometimes. Well, Lord, I'm 50 now, you know. But no, if, if it's still in my heart to do it, God has placed it in my heart to do it. And he's going to give me the strength to do whatever I need. But I don't want her to have to go reach in the mud to get anything. If she wants to be able to, you know, Grandma, we're taking a trip to Italy, and it's two thousand dollars to go to this school or go to this class. I want it. I want it to be where, you know, I say, okay, Grandma, sacrifice some things, and the money is here. Go on out to the school. Go ahead and travel. Grandma can provide it, you know. And she's an A student, and that's a lot of our children. They don't get those opportunities because of money. It's not because they're not smart. It's not be, not because that they don't have a desire to do. They are smart. They do have a desire to do, but a lot of times the money is not there for them to go off and pursue their dreams and goals. So what what I'm what I can do, I'm gonna do. What I can't, I just can't. But I do want to leave my granddaughter something. You know what I'm saying? And um, like I said, I ain't trying to clock out no time soon. But if I do, I want to leave her something, you know. And I guess parent, all parents want to leave their children something, you know. But I'm going to just do the best I can with what I can. Shoot, it might be $20 and $0.25 cents all, I can, all I can leave. <laughs> but I pray it don't. I'm working on it. I got a lot of work to do, y'all. And I'm working on myself. I got a lot of things I got to do, y'all. I'm telling you, I do. But um, you all continue to pray for me, and um, I'm going to pray for y'all. Uh, We all going through something, honey. Let me tell you, we are all going through something. But you be encouraged and keep God first in your life. Put him before everything, and he'll work out everything else. Love y'all. Toodles. <laughs>